Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel on this cold wintry day. Um, today I of course have my face on, minus my eyeshadow, mascara, and so forth. Um, I did use the usual Clinique foundation and my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. I'm going to leave it out because I have to get ready early tomorrow. Um, I used my Laura Mercier uh, blush. It's in the shade Grapefruit. It's a little on the weird shade, but I don't use it that often. And I'm going to put it away because I won't be using it tomorrow. But I do have it on, and it's not that bad. And you'll have to excuse my little boo-boos. I shaved my entire face. So far, I have not gotten a mustache, any thicker or longer facial hair. I have one little gray hair, well, it's white, that will grow from my chin. One. That's it. Just one. And I'll take the tweezers and pluck it off. But other than that, I do shave my entire face because of, you know, that little bit of peach fuzz that we are born with and we keep for our entire lives. Your makeup lays down better when you shave it off. And, of course, try not to do stuff like this. I have nicked up here, too, before, it, which I don't have any hair right here. I had no business going in that area. But anyways, I did use my Too Faced Love Light Precision Highlighter in the shade Blinded by the Light. And I have to be careful with this. Because Reynaldo was using it a long while back. And well, he wasn't using the highlighter. The <laughs> he was using the mirror. I let him. And he dropped it and it got cracked. Well, it's actually broke entirely in half. But it's beautiful. Um, I also used... This is the... Da -da -da -da. I cannot read it anyways. Style. Is it Signia? But I use that, you know, as my lip liner and I did fill it in and I went over it with my Violet Voss Love in Paris lip gloss and we'll put those away and what else i used the julep uh setting spray and i think that's it that i use oh my natasha denona alloy cheek duo i only used the bronzer that's dark for me, so I have to go in with an extremely light hand and really blend it good. I'm getting, actually, I'm getting a little hot. It is 22 degrees out. It is still snowing. I woke up to over a foot of snow. Um, and it's just going on and on forever. So... My daughters uh, have been messaging me all morning. One drives to Cleveland and she took a picture of her commute, not pretty. And the other one, she has a little bit of a drive herself. And she was not, she was complaining more than the one that drove to Cleveland. So, and they both are driving in the same cars. Like, they're twins and they both got the same car, same brand. I think one is a newer year than the other one, but close. 
because they bought them at different times. But, um, and without knowing that what the other one had at the time. It's funny because they do that, you know? And um, my sister, her too. I've been talking to her all morning. But today I'm going to use Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics. Once upon a time, there were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales. And they all lived happily ever after. And I'm going to open it up. It does look like a book. And it has some pretty little shades in there. I don't use this that often at all. It looks like I do, but that's because my granddaughters have. And then you got your mirror. Above the mirror it says, it says, Life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. Hans Christian Andersen. And he's right. But it's a nice book looking palette. So, um, and I have a couple of minis. I think I bought some for my granddaughter, too, when I bought my uh, Ariel. Ariel, you'll have to comment. I'm pretty sure I did. But anyways, so, I'm just going to dive in here. I don't even know what I'm going to use yet. I guess we'll figure it out along the way. But, so, what is your guys' weather like today? At the end of the video, if you could hit like or unlike, and, of course, tell me why you liked or did not like my video, and let me know what your weather is like today. I'd really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You don't have to hit the notification bell. It just notifies you every time I upload a video. And you can customize it, too. Um, but, yeah, I'm very curious where everybody is from, or at least what your weather is like. You don't have to say where you're from. But what is your weather like today? Um... I know our weather is pretty crappy, but people are on Facebook complaining big time about the weather. Now, I live in Ohio. I was born in Ohio, in Painesville, Ohio. I've lived in Ohio all my life. I've experienced winter all my life. I'm 56 years old. I know that we have spring, summer, fall, and then winter. I've driven in it. I've complained about it. I love it when going for a walk. Me and my ex-husband used to bundle our kids up, grab our dog, and go on a long walk during a blizzard and walk back home and it was the most relaxing peaceful walk ever four little girls trailing behind us with a pit bull and a rottweiler no problems it was a beautiful walk every year we did it then we'd come home shed everything let it dry. We'd have hot cocoa and popcorn when we got home. And we did it every winter with our kids. It was just something that we did. And we enjoyed doing. So, and on, on Christmas Eve, I'm disappointed if we don't have a good blizzard. Christmas Day as well. I want those blizzards and everything that everybody complains about. I'm sorry, folks, but I do. I live in Ohio, and I know what the weather's like. So, we just, if you don't want to live in the snow, you can move away. 
and go live where the hurricanes are and the floods and the tornadoes and all that stuff. You know what I mean? I'd rather have the winter. But I don't know why everybody starts flipping out about it because this is Ohio. We are in the snow belt. It is what it is, folks. So you got to buck up. Man up. Don't like shoveling the snow? Get a snow blower. Pay somebody to plow your driveway. A regular local person that will come out and do it as needed. Or even on call. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like it that much, you can make it a little easier on yourself. We had a snowblower. And we did play, we did pay for somebody to plow, but my ex-husband would get out there and snow blow the driveway as well. He'd snow blow the, the sidewalk in front of the house for kids walking to and from school. And he always went and did our neighbors too. So, and that was very kind of him. He wasn't an asshole 100% of the time. Close, but not 100%. I'm sure there was something in it for him, <laughs> but at least he did it. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a good time to call your neighbors, you know, check in on those who, I mean, my nurse, well, one of my nurses called me a little bit ago to make sure I was okay, and I am. Um, I'm going to make my way to the grocery store tomorrow, one way or another. So, I think it's time for me to start going and staying stocked up just in case. I mean, if something happened right now, I would not starve to death. My diabetes wouldn't be happy with me, but I would not starve to death. I guarantee you I have over 50 cans of raviolis and SpaghettiOs with meatballs and all that. No, I'm not supposed to eat that with diabetes, but I will. If I have to, I mean, I had them before I was diagnosed with diabetes. And I ate them a lot. It was fast. It was convenient. It was cheap. So, I mean, I don't touch them now. But I will if I have to. That ain't no lie. I mean, they're actually something where you don't need a can opener to open them. It's a pullback top. Um, on top of that, you really don't have to cook them. If you like them warm, yeah, but if you don't have any way to warm them up because the power is out, you better eat them cold raviolis from that can and be happy you can. Most definitely be happy you can. So that's always something, you know, to keep around, just like tuna. I don't like just regular tuna fish. It has to be, I'm looking for my tissue. It has to be albacore white tuna, which is more expensive. But 
and I get it in oil, not oil, I hate oil. Uh, I get it in water, never oil. And um, I'm gonna leave my brushes out for tomorrow too. I normally don't, but, oops, I forgot to do my underneath. But yeah, so I mean, stuff that you can just throw together And you can even stick it in a, stick some in a backpack if you have to, if you're forced to leave your home. I do have a couple of power banks for my um, cell phones, my cell phone, and my tablet. It e they'll even charge my laptop. But um, they'll charge my hearing aids. But I have that. But I am going to get something bigger and something that can also be recharged by solar and i've already been looking at them and i think in january that's what i'm gonna do i think it's a smart thing to do so I ended up a little on the blue side today. <laughs> now I'm gonna turn this little fan off. You should see it outside here, it's like, wow. You know what? I don't remember if I did an Ipsy unboxing for November or not. I don't remember. I'm going to have to check. I have so many, not Ipsy, Splendies. I have so many pairs of panties from Splendies. It's unreal. And with the holidays and grandkids here and everything, I've not even thought about Splendies. My daughter, Takora, she sent me a video this morning. I saved it. So for Reynaldo when he was little. Him talking to his mom. Telling her he's mad at her because he wants to hold the fish and she won't let him. I had Oscars, I think it was. So... Yeah, that was kind of, it was not kind of, it was adorable.
I probably already have it, but I saved it just in case. Because I've got videos and pictures from back in 2008, 2009. I mean, I've got a lot. Then I have actual photos, like boxes and boxes of them. No way do I have room on my walls for all the photos that I have. I would have to have a great big mansion. When I die, my kids can fight over them. I think that's good. I definitely think that's good. I don't know what I've got to set clothes out for tomorrow. Physical therapy comes early in the morning. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit of shopping. So, um... I'm looking forward to getting out in the snow tomorrow. I gotta watch. Last week I lost my hearing aid doing, see that? Brushing my hair. So, I mean, I don't want to lose my hearing aids, but I searched over my house, my apartment like crazy, me and Reynaldo. And hear what had happened when I was sitting here brushing my hair. I was going in this motion and I brushed it out and it fell right onto the floor over where neither of us could see it. But what I did was I came and sat down over here because we tore my bed apart, my chair, everywhere I was that morning and we could not find it. And so I said, it has to be when I did my makeup. So I came over here and I did the motions of brushing my hair on this side. And then I looked down to where it would have landed and there it was. So I said, no more, this will not happen again. So my daughter said to ask about insurance. I go back to see them I think December 11th, maybe. So when I go, I am going to ask, you know, like what kind of ins warranty is on them? Is there a way that I can insure them? You know, they are $6,000 and I don't have another $6,000 to shell out for hearing aids. Um, my insurance did pay for most of it, all but $280 for this little guy. This itty bitty teeny guy, but I'm telling you what, this guy pack, packs a punch, I'm telling you. This is one hell of a hearing aid. I got one in each ear, and I have an app for them. Um, I can control them with the app, when my phone rings, it rings in here, and these are just like have it in iPods. I mean, you can't beat it. So, I mean, and I can adjust the level. I can ad adjust the direction that I want the most sound to come from or have it like universal. It's, it's a breeze. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful day and stay warm if you live near me. So it is 
still 22 degrees and it's 11:32 a.m. So y'all take care and be safe. Bye-bye.